Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Nice to be here for another week of the Pox and Labs update. Uh, on session, we have been doing quite a bit this week, basically uh, working on calls going through the final um, kind of QA process, um, which we've been working on for a while now, been in the beta state uh, for a long time, and we're hoping to finally get into the public release, so we're just kind of testing the final edges of that. Um, definitely have some issues right now with reconnection that we're working through um, and also the establishment of calls on different devices making sure hangups work properly. Um, on the session side as well, on iOS we are working on this really big database refactor, I've just kicked that off, um, so that's something that Morgan is working on and um, will hopefully speed up performance. Um, we've been doing some stuff on the push notification server side as well and some bug fixes here and there. Um, on Android, we're still working on session ID blinding, mostly. Um, so that's the task that's currently ongoing. And on desktop, we're looking at performance as well. And that's a focus that we're looking at on Android too, actually. Um, on the open group server side, we actually just released recently um, a 0. I think it's 0. 0.3.0 0 um, release. Uh, and it actually significantly improves performance um, on the server side of the session open group server. So we're looking at potentially an 80% decrease in CPU um, CPU load, essentially. So if you're a session open group server operator, I really recommend you upgrade your open group. Um, on the LokiNet side, we have also been working on some performance improvements too. Um, we recently got a significant improve in path building, which is going to be necessary for the integration into um, the session as a library, which we've been working on. So that's looking really good. Uh, and we're also making some good progress on the IPv6 stuff as well. Found a different uh, way to kind of um, block off IPv6 functionality when you're connected to an exit node so to make sure it's not um, leaking your IPv6 address. So yeah, everything is looking pretty good on that front. On the Oxen Core side, we're still working on Wallet 3, um, which we've been doing for a while. Um, and I think there were some RPC changes this week as well. So yeah, fairly busy week um, from us this week, and I hope you were able to pull out some of the major things that we're working on um, from that little update. Thanks, guys. Hey everybody, and welcome to the marketing part of the lab update. Unfortunately, our brave leader Josh is away today, so you're stuck with me. But hopefully, it won't be. Uh, hopefully, it won't be too lousy. Uh, so the biggest news in marketing this week is that we've got a new member of the marketing team. Uh, so we've been searching around for a little while now uh, for somebody to join in uh, and help out with a little bit of content stuff, a little bit of social stuff. Um, and we have found our unicorn. We've found somebody who we think is going to be awesome and be absolutely excellent. Uh, we've been conducting interviews last week um, and this new person is going to be starting next week. So that's super, super exciting. Uh, can't wait to get them on board. I think it's really going to breathe uh, some new fresh life uh, and a new voice into the marketing team, which is going to be just awesome. Um, the other thing that we've been working on is uh, the calls beta release. So calls beta is going to be going um, fully public uh, over the next few days. Um, so in the marketing team, which has been gearing up, uh, preparing some new communications material, new blog post, uh, some graphics by our old mate Connor, um, just to promote that release. It's a big one, um, so we want to make sure that we make a lot of noise around that. Uh, Tim's also been in some pretty extended talks with uh, third-party publications around um, some posts and some articles that we can get published. In the past, when we've done that, it's been super successful. Uh, it's just about making sure that timing is right uh, to get the maximum impact out of them. We've also had a couple of first party uh, articles that I was working on uh, that were published in the last week or so, uh, which have been going really well. Uh, we've really built up a big bank of uh, content now, which really helps on our keyword strategy, but also helps Cam out with socials. Um, you guys probably noticed, but we post a lot of long form uh, and blog content onto our social media, and it gets a lot of cut through. It really helps build that social audience and engagement is really high. Um, and socials have been going really great, actually. Recently, we've gone from around about 400 new followers a week on the session accounts on Twitter, um, up to about 600 consistently, which is obviously you know, about a 50% increase, uh, which is a really great uh, mark to hit. Um, the other thing that we've been working on is Chris has been working on uh, a help desk for session. Um, and for Oxen as well, but Session is the one that is tracking along more quickly. So because Session has been getting so popular and so many people are using it, unfortunately, poor Chris um, has been flooded by support 
uh, tickets and emails, people who need help, um, people who need to troubleshoot, um, and it is just taking up a lot of his time. So we've been working on a nice help desk, uh, which will let users help themselves a little bit more, um, and just provide a more, I guess, I suppose, comprehensive um, support experience um, than what the FAQ does. The FAQ will still be sticking around, uh, but we're just going to be adding that help desk on top, which I think is going to free up a lot of Chris's time um, to, to do other work. Uh, so that's more or less what we've been up to in the marketing team this week. Uh, yeah, but hopefully next week I'll be I'll be out of the chair and you'll see Josh back in this one. See you everybody.